James Dean. He said, a country boy rockin' ain't all that bad. You shake your leg, oh, you wear you a hat. You bring the house down and you make all them pretty girls cry. Has the insurance money come through yet? Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it from here. It's been a pleasure working with you. Pete? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to come over. Hell out here, look at me, I'm sweating like a pig. How's it going? Where's the case, Pete? Case? All right. Well, of course I brought the case. Sort of? What do you mean, sort of? You either have the case or you don't. There it is. What the hell is that? I owe you? You were supposed to bring me diamonds, you moron. Now please tell me that's a joke. I'll pay you back every penny, I swear. It won't happen again, I'm sorry. You're sorry? You had one shot at this, Pete, and you blew it. It's not what you think. I was robbed. You had one simple task, Pete. One. All you oh, had shit. to do was give back the diamonds you stole from us, and all sins would be forgiven. No, no, no. But you fucked yourself, didn't you? Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I'm an asshole, all right? But if it's worth anything, I didn't know there were diamonds. Not good enough. Where's the diamonds, Pete? I told you, man, I don't know. We were robbed. I, I, I woke up this morning to, to, to a note on the table, man. Someone broke in. Someone sat at my table and had a fucking cup of coffee. I don't know how I slept through all this. Uh, I would have killed him, I swear. You gotta believe me. So you're telling me that somebody stole the diamonds from you <laughs> that you already stole. And then you drove all the way out here in the middle of nowhere to tell me that. Now, what did you think was going to happen here, Pete? Not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. Please, I haven't been begging you have mercy. It's not me you should be worried about, right? Do you have any idea who you stole from? You didn't, you didn't really think you'd get away with this, did you? Man, I, I know I'm not fucking stupid. Please. You know, it's all water under the bridge now, right? But, you know, just out of curiosity, what did the note say? Uh, it said, run. You should have listened. Go. I guess what my client wants to know is, are you capable of handling a job like this? Of course. I expect you do this sort of thing all the time. Once or twice. Look, just leave the case in the safe, pop an extra sleeping pill, I'll handle the rest. Very well. You're the expert. I trust you'll make it work, Mr. Stevens. 50 up front. 50 when you return the diamonds. And believe me, you will return the diamonds. And 
get a deal. Man, it could not have gone any better in there. I agree. Good luck. Thanks. Charlie Rich or Bill Monroe, but it might be Hank or Elvis, friend, I really don't know. The young news reporter frowned as he turned and walked out, but all the regulars knew what he was asking about. Strange things happen here, but it's late at night when we pull down the shades and we turn. There's just a few of us who know the truth, who've seen it jump and light up from that back corner booth. Those nights we pulled the plug when the crowd was gone, just to hear those golden old hillbilly songs. 